Hi there, Ready Stabs here. In today's video, we're going to have a look at using the Amiga A1200 to drive a MIDI rig. At least some of these MIDI devices using Optimed Sound Studio on the Amiga. So let's have a look at the MIDI setup here. On the rear of the Amiga, I have a serial cable coming into a MIDI interface. So this is my original MIDI interface from 92, I think I had this. Uh, on the input we've got the Roland A49 MIDI keyboard, and on the output that is going to my MIDI Moto MIDI timepiece, which is effectively taking that one input and pushing it through into eight different inputs which are hooked up to the various MIDI equipment. Uh, now this interface itself, you know it has three outputs but these three outputs are effectively just sending the same 16 channels MIDI information so it's, it's like a through box essentially so we really only need to, to use one here. On the rear of the Mega I've got the audio outputs, so we're going to be utilising them as well. They're going into the mixer as well as all the other MIDI gear going into the mixer. So the mixer I use is the Behringer XR18. Digital mixer, it's under the, the desk here, but with each of these inputs, these are actually Amiga inputs, I can put on different effect sends. Uh, so we can effectively add reverb to one of the Amiga's outputs here or delay or whatever we want. So we'll be doing a bit of that as well. So let's have a look at the different instruments I've got set up in these MIDI devices. Uh, it's worth noting on my Roland A49, I'll be pressing the function key 1, that sets it to MIDI channel 1, function key 2, channel 2 etc. So if we go function 1, this is actually the Integra 7 house kit 2. So that will be our drums. Channel 8 I have lately based in the Yamaha TX81Z. Channel 9, I have a piano on the S3000 Excel. On channel 10, we have Strings from the virus B. And 13. That's a V synth doing a Hoover. So let's have a look at Optimate Sound Studio. So this is my first instrument. I'm going to call this one drums. Go to the properties and so drums is on MIDI channel one and put the volume up as up in that one. MIDI active, input active, send out input is what we want. So go to the Amiga keyboard, press escape to go into edit mode, and we'll lay down every four and we'll adjust this block I'll put the tracks up to 16 we can actually go right up to 64 leave it at about 16 to begin with I'll put the command page just to 2 I'll show you where that is in a little while and I'll put the length to 16 nice and short to begin with Let's have a look at our tempo. The B 
BPM to boot one one two five. Put that every four. So you think of the TR909 and 16 step sequencer doing very similar, putting down the kick drum every four, except it's vertical review in this case. Now the next track I'll use the same instrument, I'll get the some hi-hats going. Nice and fast, and we will put in a bit of shuffle in this. So we'll use this command 1F2. So here you'll hear that that hi hat is shuffling a little bit. Put in a clap. See what else we've got. Actually, what I'll do, I will select this and we're going to cut this onto track four here. So these first four tracks, I'm going to keep reserve that for Amiga Audio, uh, which can only be on the first four tracks, and the MIDI data will start this from track four onwards. Let's mute those tracks. Put some more detail in here. Let's see what we've got. Got a dirty shaker. Is a bit loud, so what we'll do is the volume command C2, take that down a bit. two tracks put in a bit of detail on this one so what we got let's try that a bit of shuffle to this as well so we can put in this command here now 
that's a bit loud. So what I'm going to do is these commands, this is command page one, I'm on one of two. So if I want to put in more commands, I can press shift and tab, and that takes me on to command page two. We can lower the volume of this. Higher maybe. Take that high down a bit. And the same down here. Take the snare down a bit. A bit. Second one out. That's a nice bouncy house beat. going to complement that with a sample and a sort of topper beat. Let's see what we've got. Actually reverb beat. Let's loop that one in there. Sending okay. Actually, that track six, right? Set volumes and actually try putting that down. do for just now. Going to three chorus piano. Actually piano. And so this was on track nine. Put the volume up. And it's on the keyboard. I can also enter lots in. Piano riff. Right, so 
how do we get that riff in? Go into edit mode. There's a couple of ways I would do this. I would either play it live in or yeah, just program it in. So let's try program in. So what we have. So it's gone in, but we've got no note offs in there. So some of these notes are running on longer than they want. But so the next thing I'll do is I'll expand the block and decrease the tempo. Some no Fs, uh, some no offs with the F command. Take that lot. Paste it in. some room for the rest of this to go in. So it's 32, let's put that up to 128. Sticky 2 key. And copy this. F7 takes us to here. F8 to here, F9 to there. Our riff is so in edit mode. Double note off there. So we have and let's copy that into here. Next part of a riff. So you'll notice I'm just really going over the, the same kind of note template again. Down.
chest in the mix out. Beats slightly annoying me. Let's do some Congos instead. Sounds. better. Right, let's get some Lately Bass in here for this channel and call this one Bass. I'm actually going to save this before I do anything else. Um, E. Let's transpose this down. Track half step. Copy this. Take that chord mode off.
sound so alright. Uh, let's actually call that one bass. Yep. So let's get a vocal in here. Yo, give me some to dance to. Yo, give me some to dance to. So have we got So you can see how fast it is just to load a mega sample straight into this and yeah let's try looping one here. Some of this a Actually, this will put out another mixer channel. And So we've added a bit of reverb and delay to the Amiga's audio output. What else can we add here? Try putting some strings in. So that was Virus MIDI Track 10. Okay, a bit of jam in there. Let's get that down.
to layer that string a bit. Save that again. Let's make a bit of a sequence out of this. Do we want our song playing sequence? Let's create some new blocks. So our blocks are just different patterns. These two bits start with. with the piano coming in. Let's just get 
this to block 3 and so what have we got so the play song Let's start that off with a bit of an abbreviated riff before we get into the main one. So I'll take that first bit. Vary this a bit here, chord mode, and piano. That's all right. Let's put that there and block three, put that there as well. So Block three, I'm going to do some kind of a fill, I think. I'll tail this piano off early for this coming in. Here, stick in that, that somehow went in a bit early. Ninety-six. 
right then add on track four I'm going to bring it all in so let's copy that minus strings goes there. Let's copy block four, one, two, five, and take away the crash. Minus crash. Good. 